As the old saying goes, there's nothing new under the sun. For fans of movies and TV, that means every story that can be told already has been told. But sometimes the movies that seem to be retelling a well-known story too closely are singled out, accused of being a rip-off, copycat, or just unoriginal. The most famous example? James Cameron's Avatar, a story of a human being welcomed into a native tribe betraying their trust, but eventually saving the day. Despite monster box office sales, many people quickly dismissed the billion dollar blockbuster's story as a ripoff of Pocahontas or even Ferngully before it. The truth is, it's telling the same story told by dozens, even hundreds of famous films. But that's not necessarily a reason to attack it, or any other reskinned movie myth. It's just an opportunity for our latest docuseries, The Hidden Truth Behind All Movies. I think I got it, but just in case, tell me the whole thing again, I wasn't listening. <sighs> the unlikely, unknowing, unwitting hero. There's been plenty of research into similarities in the structure of successful screenplays, from the three-act format to a save-a-cat moment, a term coined by Blake Snyder, referring to an unnecessary good deed that lets audiences know a hero is actually good at heart. But keeping things simple, there's one kind of hero every movie fan loves, and that's an unlikely one. In films like Avatar, The Lego Movie, even Star Wars and Guardians of the Galaxy, it isn't some wealthy, powerful, or royal figure who gets a chance at greatness. It's an everyday child or person. It's a clear case of wish fulfillment, but it also sets the bigger story in motion. After all, a character can't realize their greatness unless they're oblivious to it at the start. So even though their circumstances might be different, Jake Sully is a paraplegic, Star-Lord is an everyday kid, Emmett is just a face in the crowd, and even Superman is a humble farm boy, they have more in common with the viewer than a prince or princess, powerful leader, or deadly warrior would. Whether it's a trip into space or just a massive secret revealed, everyday people are pulled into a story far bigger than themselves. But being useful usually comes at a price. You've taken your first step into a larger world. The Honest Deceit Nobody becomes a hero overnight, and in blockbuster movies, writers don't change up the format more than they need to. So no matter how the mission of one protagonist might seem different, or how good their reasons may be, a little dishonesty or lingering doubts are guaranteed. It's here where the charges are made that Avatar is just a reskinning of other stories. Jake is sent to infiltrate the enemy's ranks, quietly learning their ways, and eventually coming to respect them, even joining their community as a valued member, not to mention falling in love with Natiri, the chief's daughter. That's the same thing that happened with Zack in Ferngully and John Smith in Pocahontas. So the comparisons are fair, but there's one problem. It's also the exact same thing that happened to Brian O'Connor in The Fast and the Furious, Johnny Utah in Point Break, Ash in Army of Darkness, Han Solo in Star Wars, Ralph in Wreck-It Ralph, Valen in Gangs of New York, Emmett in The Lego Movie, and you get the idea. By getting close to the enemy, our hero becomes one of them and starts to question which side they should actually be on, especially since if their new family was to find out they weren't telling the truth, things would get ugly fast. Me, I'm a cop. What are you talking about, Brian? What is this? The betrayal. It's almost a certainty that the hero's secret will be spilled prematurely before they've gotten a chance to openly confess to their deception. The result is the loss of their new family, whether it's deserved or not. Brian and Johnny Utah lose their lovers when their lies are exposed. Emmett can't explain that he's not a master builder after all. Star-Lord is accused of only caring about the Infinity Stone's value. Leia and Luke accuse Han of only being in it for the money. And Jake, Zack, and John Smith are all branded as traitors, without getting to share that they don't necessarily agree with the invading party that originally sent them. The twist can also be played by women, like when Mulan is exposed as a woman fighting in a man's army, having their personal bonds and trust evaporate, leaving the hero with no side to join, and shame for hurting the people they came to truly care for. That would all be a problem if it wasn't for one other thing all unlikely movie heroes have in common. The prophecy states that you are the special, the most talented- I'm not sure he's the special. The Chosen One. 
These are still our heroes, so of course, they're going to get to save the day. But it isn't enough for them to just be hailed as worthy members of the community, tribe, gang, or family. These unlikely heroes are the chosen ones, born leaders who only realize their true greatness when they have to prove they weren't traitors after all. Any movie fan can instantly remember the same scene played out in hundreds of films, when the hero is revealed in all his glory, having adopted the armor, colors, clothing, and weaponry of his new tribe. Not only has he been accepted, but he stands ready to prove that he isn't just a member of his new community, but a greater hero than they've ever known. Again, it's clearly wish fulfillment to see so many everyday people try something new and realize they're secretly born to do it. But it's truly shocking when you realize how many movies stick to this exact narrative path. Even the Star Wars series seems to fit, since the Expanded Universe novels explained Anakin was a child born of dark side meddling, raised and trained by the Jedi, only to come home to the Sith and become one of the greatest Force users in history. The same goes for Superman, who chose humanity over his own people, becoming a greater warrior than either civilization had ever known. So yes, Avatar, The Fast and the Furious, and Guardians of the Galaxy might just be John Smith, Johnny Utah, and Han Solo solo all over again, but their stories are told in more movies and ways than are immediately clear, especially when Captain America is as unlikely a hero as Luke Skywalker or even Hal Jordan. Or Tony Stark's path to true heroism has so much in common with Tom Cruise's Last Samurai. They're all different, sure, but when their eyes are opened, their secrets are spilled, and their destinies are achieved, they're all just telling the same great story we all wish could be our own. But in my own way, I am king. That's our case for the shared path of most unlikely movie heroes and heroines. What do you think? Are movies just looking to tell old stories in new ways, just like novels, TV shows, and comic books? Or do you have your doubts? Let us know in the comments, and remember to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one.